The old cathedrals often have sublime artworks hidden away in the darkest corners for only God to see. The same goes for murder. That's good. Don't ever try to hide the that's darkness, darkness style. Ah, yeah. All my ex-wives loved serial killers. There's a lot of women that, for some strange reason, love serial killers. So I thought, I'll make a serial killer film. Normally, my films become a little different. And I hope I, I, I'm, I'm saying this, that I'm doing the, the missing films, that kind of like the missing link. I haven't seen that before. So this is a missing film. I haven't seen, I haven't seen that before. There's a few things that it never, I'm sure never happened in real life. It never uh, happened in a movie. Everything has happened in real life, I'm, I'm sure. I don't know about the windshield wiper. <laughs> the set, what I liked was I felt as an actor that I had permission to fail, to try something different. There were things I was reluctant about in the script, but we, I had a trust. And, uh, and what was nice was to be able to say, hey, don't worry, you know, we're, let's try something different. R wrong can be right. You know, the biggest problem for, for a state is that you stop talking about certain things. So that's why films mustn't stop also because of good taste or political correctness. I base the film on the things that I'm interested in. And I was especially interested in serial killers, but I researched. And, uh, and then, of course, in all the characters, and especially in Jack, there's a lot of me. I don't think I'm a psychopath, but that is what they all say, you know. No, he's not a psychopath. Well, artistic work can be, I'm sure, quite dangerous. It's the feel-bad movie of the festival. <laughs> <laughs> I was very touched, I must say, by the, the welcoming. It's all good. It's just we had a little misunderstanding for seven years. Today I'm relaxed. But of course, they, they can change their mind and suddenly, you know, you're back in jail in Marseille.